My name is Kingsley Ezebe, and I'm a youth development expert and brand strategist. The first thing young people can do is to become part of the solution. That is how life works in the real setting. A functional society is not always about what can be done for us, but about what can be done by us to make society better. And that is why, personally, when I delved into non-profit, one of the things I did was found an organization whose major vision is to help young people within Nigeria and Africa to discover and creatively solve problems within their community. What I've come to discover by experience is that when young people become part of the solution, they automatically become positive because it takes positivity to profess solution to healing problems in society. So become part of the problems. Find out something you can do in your capacity as a young person within your community to make your society better. When you look around society, you discover that there are a vast majority of problems. One of those problems is enlightenment. One of those problems is illiteracy. One of those problems is sanitation. These are problems in society that different young persons can step in to fill the gap. For instance, when we talk about something like female genital mutilation, okay, or we talk about diseases like um, maybe HIV and AIDS and different types of ailments, what young people can do is to step into society to enlighten people to galvanize themselves and organize each other to clean society, to clean their environment. So there are always things young people can do. And that is why I keep saying, there's a way I say it, I say it this way, that everybody's problem is somebody's ministry. What it means is that for every problem in society, there is someone who has been designed to solve that problem. So that problem you are designed to see is the problem you are designed to solve. How did I delve into youth development? Because I was burdened by the fact that a lot of young people don't have direction, don't have vision, are living reckless lifestyles. Well, what did I do? I started an organization called Mission Yusu Youth, whose aim is basically to help young people to become more people's minded, to be deliberate about whatever it is they will do in society. And that is why collaboration is vital. Let me say something that is very shocking. Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, just has 16% of the shares in Amazon, and he is the richest man in the world. If Jeff Bezos was not selfless enough as to give shares to other persons to build Amazon, today he will not be the richest man. He may be the only owner of the company, but that company will not make him the richest man. So collaboration, like I said, is the new competition. So you have to let go of your insecurities and collaborate with people who are like-minded, who think like you, and you take whatever it is you're doing very far. Man is a product of nature and nurture. Nature is how you were born. You were born African, you were born Nigerian, you have the Nigerian blood. But nurture talks about where you grew up in, the environment in which you grew up in. And those two things affect how you're going to thrive. What it means is that people should get to a point where they should not let their background to limit them. If it means leaving your current location, leave that current location. If it means leaving your family's house, leave your family house. Why? Because sometimes what you need is a paradigm shift for you to find your path in life. And oftentimes that paradigm shift you need may not be found in your family or in your immediate location. And that is where we talk about exposure. The more you go out, the more you interact with people of different backgrounds, the more you are better positioned to succeed in a society that is global and uh, more and diverse. Right? So that is why background is important. If your background does not help matter, grow above your background by changing location, changing position, changing association, or changing whatever it is you need to change for you to succeed. <music> coming from has nothing to do with where God will take you or what he has got to do with you. I come from a family where no one has gone abroad, but I've gone to different countries of the world despite my background. What it means is that your destiny is also in your hand. It is not automatic. So you can take deliberate decisions today to get to where you're going in the future. You mustn't be born with a silver spoon but you can get to a point where you give other silver spoons to use. Once again, my name is King Sierra Zeme, 
and I want you to keep watching Gary TV. It's 8 o'clock. See you.